our plan is to go to Malam Tarn. The plan B is to stop at Cold Cut, 15 miles out of um, Ripon. It's level that way. Not that level that way. It'll do. Yeah, I think this will do, won't it? Where are we? We're between Pateley Bridge and Greenhow on the way to Grassington and it's um, a big quarry and whatever. Whatever? <laughs> we'll show you in the morning. <laughs> what does whatever mean? Whatever. Whatever. There we go. <laughs> We've been babbling away to a damn camera without recording. Talk about Boomer and X Generation. We're a disaster. X? Are you X? X Generation, isn't it? I don't know what... Generation X. Are you? Yeah. What am I? Boomer. What's the difference? Age. Oh, yeah. Age, obviously. Oh, yeah. Anyway, right. We were just saying that we are parked at Calcutt and we're going to explore Calcutt tomorrow. And we've. this is our first park up since New Year because of the diesel eater and uh, it's fixed it was bunged up full of mud not good to be bunged up I'm bunged up because we just do van life for the weekend both have regular and holidays and holidays we both have regular jobs so it's not quite so easy to just you know keep up with it you know all the time well we struggled well we haven't struggled we, we just did a couple of um, day trips yeah found Abbey Ripon whatever because we talked about solar which we've not brought because it didn't see much point when it's fog mist flood and tempest I think it's going to be sunny tomorrow and do you know should we go back and get it we're no. 15 miles away we're only 15 miles away <laughs> We do need to think about what we're going to do about extra lighting and stuff. If anybody can, you know, That's experience... Better. Oh, what it was. Two USB lights that charge up. We have, we have some good lighting. You have light on you. In, in plate. Yeah, but we need to be visible. Not that way. Yeah, That's better. No. James, <sighs> leave it there. Honestly. Will you stop messing about? Anyway, upcoming trips. No, I, no, we haven't finished that bit of the conversation. Van lifers, without messing about with the roof lining and doing all that sort of stuff, lighting, lighting, that is something we need better lighting. We need better lighting. Please, um, if you're a fellow van lifer, make some suggestions, please, of how we can improve our lighting. Some people have them... LED strip lighting things, don't they? Yeah, well, I'm not a fan. But and a lot of things involve drilling, and you're not a fan of drilling. Well, we, we saw the solar panel escapade. Solar panels with suction pads. Oh, suction pads. Somebody's work mentioned on oh, that yeah. that mm -hmm. um, it'd probably still blow away. What will blow sol away? Solar panel. We're, well, we're not going to. I don't think. I, well, I mean, I, I, I thank them for their. Uh, thoughts, but I'd be surprised it's because a debate, it isn't does it? suck. It does. They do suck. They <laughs> <laughs> it's not that kind of channel. No, it's not that kind of channel. <laughs> you suck at times. Blinds Part falling off. <laughs> God, I've gone blind. This conversation sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, the the suction pads do stick really well and. I actually thought if I was pootling along the road at about 30, 40 miles an hour, it would be okay on the roof. Um, it could even be okay at 60 or 70, but uh, yeah, I, I welcome their, their, their thoughts and uh, well, that's not the we'll plan, consider though. it. But, it, it, but it's going to be on the roof. I think if the weather was really bad, we would actually, because it's quite small, the solar panel, we would actually put it, put it sort of in that section there if the weather was in, incl inclement is that the word inclement 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 if it's poo if the weather's bad if it's really windy yeah and if it's pouring rain 
I'm not going to watch solar. But the point is that the plan with the solar panel is to use it in the evening to charge, leave it on the roof overnight. When we're stationary, yeah. Yeah, and then in the morning, obviously, in the summer it gets light at four, you're getting free electricity charging until when we get up, which is... <laughs> oh, I can be bothered. <laughs> it's cosy, it's too cosy. We, yeah. we do struggle to get up, don't we? It's 20 degrees right now in here. Oh, yum. It's about three outside. 20 degrees and three outside. Mm. Anyway, so we thought, well, it's an experiment and what have you been messing about with here? Because you just don't get it right, do you? Stop it. It's an experiment. Give up. Stop. Look, I've, look, 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 look. See the size of my hands. I'm like, do you know what? I'm like, I'm like Kenny Everett, me. What? You know when you watch some people on YouTube and you say, oh, they're really annoying. Well, you're that really annoying person. Hmm? Anyway. Let's just get straight to the... Stop sulking. <laughs> Stop it now. <laughs> Not putting up with that malarkey. Permanent van lifers, yeah. they have to have permanent solar. People who, who have a different setup, they have to have permanent solar. They have to have it set up how they have it set up. But I think that... Well, I've never seen anybody attach solar to the roof with suction pads as a part-time solution. And I think it's... I think it's a revelation. Anyway, do go on. Do go on. Uh, uh, we have plans. I've we... forgotten now. <laughs> <laughs> we have plans. One of hers is divorce. Go on. What's your plan? We do have plans for the year. Aside from the random weekend trips that we do like to do in between work, because we do work, we do have... Well, we are just for the weekend. Yeah, we... That's our main focus but we are, have got some holidays we got four this year so we plan um something in march where we're we gonna go in in march well we're gonna do go the... to do the northumberland 250 which yeah. is funnily enough 250 miles around northumberland you start i think at stanhope or thereabouts go across up the coast and to Bamburgh, up to Berwick, down to Kilda, head back down. But when we reach Hadrian's Wall, we're zooming across to go to the southwest coast 300, which is the southwest coast of Scotland, um, all around um, Solway. Quite a road trip. Yeah, and then in June, where do we plan to go in June? Hoping to go to Ireland, west coast of Ireland, which is amazing. But we're also thinking in terms of that trip, also we've got, depending on where we've sailed to, we like to be in Belfast and you want to go to the Titanic Museum. Mm -hmm. There's also the um, Giant's Causeway to the north, up the top coast in Northern Ireland. But we want to head down to the South Cork, and then all up the west coast. Also near Belfast is the uh, Hill, Hillsborough Castle, mm -hmm. which is um, a royal palace. Yeah, we're members of that, aren't we? For the year. Yeah. And given my desire to get value for money, I thought that um, we should go to Hillsborough Castle. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a great trip, but September. September is a, biggie, is a big a one, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to do... We're going to go on a ferry all the way to France. Well, we are, well, we are doing to Ireland, to be fair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to go Dover to Calais, aren't we? We're going to do quite a bit of France. Um, Belgium. And Belgium. We're going to visit the Somme battlefields. We're, we're looking at um, relatives' um, graves and memorials. Hopefully we can give you a little bit of information because we have a feeling that we know our way around and we can talk to you about stuff, but it will be a focus on our relatives, not particularly a focus on history. We will give you snippets of history, but it won't be a focus on history because there's so many people do the history so much better Well, than we're us. actually really passionate about history. We do like to learn about history and things like that, and especially since I've been doing my family tree and 
I found some interesting characters. Adam and Eve, direct relative. Aren't we what? all? We both have some relatives that have fought and died in the First World War, so there's a few graves to visit. And, and memorials, because some, some have no known grave, obviously. That's right, yeah. And that's the trip for September. September. And mm. it's, it's lovely. It's, it's lovely as France, the a full, countryside. A full, oh, but it's over three weeks we're yeah. going for. And then across to Belgium. And what have we got planned after that? We have, we've kind of stopped well, there at the moment, haven't no, we? No, November. We've got a trip in November, but we haven't planned that. That's it, what I all. meant. That's for your birthday. Yeah, we've, yeah, we've booked time off work. We just haven't you know, thought we, about what we're going to do. We don't know whether we're going to go abroad because, well, France is abroad, allegedly. No, we don't know if we're going to go fly somewhere and do that sort of sun holiday. It would have to involve something history-ish because we don't want to slide a beach. I mean, like you can, you can talk about any 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 place you go to and you talk about Turkey and people say, oh, Turkey, they're just going to sit on a beach and they're just going to do this and blah, 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 and have English breakfast and get drunk. Or you go it's to Turkey and go to... Their own, isn't it? E is it Ephesus? Ephesus. 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 Yeah. And you can go to Greece and uh, you can just lie on a beach or you can go to the Parthenon and the Acropolis and that's our thing. In fact, we were going to go to the Acropolis, weren't we, the Parthenon? We were going to Athens and we were going to do the museums and it was... Um, Plan for my birthday, and then wasn't it then 20, we are, 2020? Yeah, then we are, and we went, oh, that would be amazing. And then suddenly, it got well, cancelled. We, well, we went, we went to Malta in January 2020, mm -hmm. and we came back, and suddenly this coronavirus lark stop started happening, didn't it? And we were kind of going, oh no, I hope they don't cancel Honda. I hope they don't cancel Honda. Then we we're going. Oh my God, there's nothing, everything was closed, everything was shut off, everything was closing down, the museums are closed, the restaurants are closed. It was like, oh my God, I hope they cancel it because if we go, we won't even get to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and well, luckily, for want of a better term, they cancelled the holidays, we got our money back, but it was going to be a big birthday for me as well, wasn't it? Yeah. We didn't get that one. Never mind. Never mind. We'll go at some point. Mm. But yeah, there, there are our plans. Did you think to bring a first aid kit? Yeah. Oh, we got. Oh. Show the public. Show the viewers. <laughs> first aid kit. Hang on, they can't see any. Yeah, but you can't Look see any. Look at anyone. that. Look at that for a first aid kit, eh? <laughs> got scissors. Oh, it's all past the sell by date. We need to throw hey! it out. Hey! Not allowed to use them. Past its sell by date. What's past its sell by date? Everything. Don't be silly. What have we got? I didn't know we had some painkillers in here. We've got oh. safety pins. Oh, that's, that's like murder, a painkiller, you, you'll kill me. I'm because I'm a pain. We've got plasters, bandages. What's that? <coughs> plastered. I'm not plastered. Hmm? That's another thing as well. What we don't do. Whoa. James likes to have. A few relaxing drinks. He's had a hard day at work. Not, can't be as hard as mine. Because it's a bit of a grey area grey when area. it comes down to it. Don't advertise it. Hmm? Don't advertise it. I don't like it. On... Well, mind just some other YouTubers do. You're that, talking about it? relaxing drinks. I'm demonstrating. I'm, I'm, I'm showing a relaxing drink. Well, I've got a relaxing drink. It's a cup of tea in my lovely new little flask. It's perfect, is this? It's just enough for like a one cup of tea. It's about 330 mil. Anyway, let's get back to the damn point. Which was? Which the point is, when you're parked up and you're, in theory, in charge of a vehicle. Now, if we look around... Hey, when I'm driving, in theory, I'm in charge of the vehicle as well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink. I am not bothered about drinking. I'm, you know, I can, I can quite. She is. She drinks tea all lots the time. Lots of tea, but I can quite. James, stop it! I can, I can quite happily live without it. Um, if you're on a campsite, then yeah, I might have one or two, but I'm, I'm not very good with drinking anyway. But I'm not bothered about that. But the point is, one of us is sober. So if we actually have to move, then one of us is legal. But also, there's a 
there's a, in charge of a vehicle Oops, malarkey. I mean, have a look over there. If we look uh, over here, the steering wheel. You can clearly see that it's Wait. not. Oh, get me. <laughs> that we're clearly set up to not drive. How could you be in charge of this vehicle? Uh, uh, yeah, right off the. I'm going to jump in the car and drive round the town, whatever. Can't drive. It's impossible. It's it's set up for the night. It has gone from being a car to well, effectively, I suppose, a caravan. I didn't really it. get any of that because it. Why? It was just like my thumb in front of lens. Well done. And on that note, shall we make something to eat? Please. Pizza in the Ridge Monkey. Looks like it. I don't want to look at your big hands. Give up. Seriously. Test my sanity every day. For some of the YouTubers make it look like it all runs smoothly, and what do we do? We live in a bloody tight little vehicle, that's why. See you all in the morning. <laughs> Good night. to press record on everything. <laughs> well, this is a road here, main road. This is the road we came on last night. Had a, a quick wander, didn't we? Yeah. The snow's melted a bit since last night. Quite a, well, quite a bit, actually. Yeah, come on. Ooh. You're in a puddle as well. Okay, I've got super duper oh, waterproof boots on. Ta. What's this? Cold stones cut. It's up 418 metres above sea level. Mm. Public sculpture. Which would look better with a drone? <sighs> well, we haven't got a drone. So it's six degrees. Feels a wee bit colder than that, to be honest. I'll burst with. Eh? with which isn't that close I think it's colder than six so what's this place about then James well they've created a sort of art sculpture whatever at the top of this hill overlooking a massive quarry yeah so I suppose they hadn't got to take the stone very far before they built it looks like two giant cochleas which, for, which is you are two giant cochleas. Oh, oh, like the ear bit, your ear bit, your sort of cochlear bit. Come on, open the gate. Come on. I was going to vault over. Oh, that walk, trying to slushy snow. A wee bit, uh, a wee bit Thank rusty you, these dear. gates. Oh, watch out, it's quite puddly here. I think last time we came up here, it was the height of summer, wasn't it? Do you remember? Yeah. And you were just in a vest top. <laughs> You're not going to do that now, are you? No. No. I can see some golf balls at distance. Sorry? Golf balls. Yeah, otherwise known as Menwith Hill. It's all radar inside those golf balls. And they send huge bursts of signals up to a satellite to return to America because they are listening to you. It's actually USAF, United States Air Force, I think. It's um, a 
officially American soil as opposed to English. I had a friend who worked there, American guy, um, Fred, and uh, he used to, uh, well, he, he took us there a couple of times. We cycled there. He was a member of, member of our bike club and he got us an entry in and ate some American, typical American food, chicken wings and burgers and such like. Cycled around the actual base and there's houses there. It was just for Halloween one, of the, one time we went and they'd got amazing, you know, like gravestones and arms coming out the ground in their front gardens. It, they really did go to town on it. Yeah, and as soon as you get into the base, you have to cycle or, in, or drive on the other side of the road. So, um, you can understand why that accident occurred when a lady killed that motorcyclist. Because uh, they're driving on the wrong side of the road in their base, so they kind of switch back into American mode. And then when they come out of the base, they've got to remember to switch back into English mode, which seems... Seems foolhardy. Well, effectively over a border, because it's from an English, from an American base onto onto English soil, and they swap sides. So easy to forget. I can see something interesting up here. Oh, there is a bike. Are you going to get on it? Oh yeah, I'll go for a bike ride. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was just talking about my friend Fred, wasn't I? We well, just like used to cycle to get in the cycle club, so the least I can do is go for a bike ride on this one. <laughs> yeah, why not? Easier to walk up grass. Yeah, the steps aren't ideal, to be honest. <laughs> and the gravel's going to be loose. <laughs> I wonder how they've um, etched that into the stone. It's quite deep, isn't it? Yeah. Done a good job. You're really going to do it? Well then. Hmm. Oh, sliding away. That's a big bike. Isn't it? Eh? Is it taking you back to when you were about two? Yeah, it's a bit big for me, isn't it? Don't fall off. It wasn't. How did you... How did you get up there last time? I don't know. Oh, do be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. And don't lose the microphone. Are you going to sit at a seat? <laughs> Put your arm up. Put your arm up. <laughs> I want to ride my bicycle, I want to ride my bike, I want to ride my bicycle, I want to ride it where I like. Okay, put your arm up again. Hope that's not copyrighted, actually, that's so bad, I hope it is copyrighted. <laughs> right, I'm getting down. Come on, get down. Oh, the metal's cold as well. <laughs> what ah. <laughs> oh, do be careful. Can't take you anywhere, can I? Hey? Not really. Come on. Bit sheltered around here. Uh huh. Oh. 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 So naughty, aren't you? Right, come on. Okay. Can't park here, mate. Look, single yellow lines. What Double is the point in there? Doubles the speed bump, really, doesn't it? Oh. Should we go up this one? If you like. Oh. Oh, oh it's a wind tunnel in here. Oh my god. It oh, is. Oh, the wind muffs. Oh, the wind muffs are working. Hmm. It'll be cold out at the top. A little bit windy. We won't be here long. No, because it's cold. A bit nesh. Where's it going to end? Oh, and if we pan over here, it's quite.
quite a quite a quarry going on there. There is, isn't there? So what were they quarrying for? I said, I guess stone. <laughs> There's a right view. Oh, windy. Be all right if we had a drone. But it's a bit it too be, windy for it, isn't it? It would be very effective because you've got, if you look down there, you see. I can't look. Well, there's two more. That's where we've just been up. It's like basically a spiral. So basically, they were mining for stones then. What were they actually mining stones for to build what? Were they, were they mining? Yeah. Well, stones, whether it's for building materials. There's some information boards down there. That's right. We'll have a I look at didn't them. That. It might not tell you. I don't know if it might tell you about the quarry. Tell you what they're mining. God, it's Lithium long. for car batteries. You are. Lithium for Tesla car batteries. Hmm. Maybe not. I don't know what you mean by that. What do you mean by that? Hmm? What do you mean by that? Well, I'm saying it could be lithium for Tesla car batteries. I can't see you. I'm hiding. Don't be hiding. <laughs> There we go, so coal stone cut and it just tells you about getting rock out and... Limestone, the world's most useful rock. Most of the rock from this quarry is crushed, used as crushed rock aggregate in concrete, asphalt or as dry stone for pipe bedding, foundations etc. But limestone is also used in the production of glass, steel, plastics, paper, leather, fertilizer, toothpaste and for water purification, to name but a few of its many uses. Brush your teeth with a lump of limestone rock. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, you could, use, you could use the toothpaste from that on, on your toothpaste, toothbrush that I gave you at Christmas. I don't think so. Well, this is some of the rocks that they got out. Do you think they still get stones out? Well, there's still equipment there, isn't there? Mm. So there's still crushing machinery here and uh, I can see a lake there's plenty of buildings yeah on the bottom water? there's a big puddle yeah. yeah I'm surprised actually they're not working on, on, on a Saturday it's not Saturday oh it's Sunday oh that's why <laughs> I'm surprised they're not working on a Sunday well that's just a nice little brief visit to this uh, what's it called Cold stone cut. Well, let's just head back now, shall we? We don't need to go up the other side, it's identical. Well, mirror image, I should say. Yeah. You've seen one. Well, I've been up that one. You've seen one and, uh, snail shaped. That's exactly the same. You've seen one snail shaped walkway, you've seen them all. This wasn't on the agenda, was it? We just came here, just a random. Like, let's, let's just go and. Sleep in his car. We've got his diesel heater fixed. Mm -hmm, Let's just go. Game changer. And we were going somewhere a bit too far, weren't we? Well, we set off heading for. I'm allowed to say. Is it a secret? No, we can say it because that's next week's episode because we're going to carry well, on. We were heading to Massam and. No, we weren't. We were heading to Malham. Um, Malham Cove and Malham Tarn. Yeah. That was the plan. Two, two, two nights there. And then we um, we got up here, and it was quite snowy on the ground, and also, well, was it mist or was it fog? It was getting dark though, weren't it? It was getting dark. Well, it was. You just. It was nearly completely dark, and it just seemed uh, foolhardy to do another forty-five I'm minutes. I'm gonna go down the steps before I go flying. Let's go down the steps. Okay. You just finished work. I had. And you just got home. What time was it? It was uh, more or less half four when I got back. So it's getting, starting to get dark by the time we got ready to go. We, we, we set off at six minutes past five. And I think sunset was pretty well about then. Obviously it stays light for a while after, yeah. after the sun goes down. By the time we got to Pateley Bridge it was pretty well completely dark and then coming up Look at camera, James. Coming up here, it was pretty, um, well, it's, it's pitch black and there was snow actually on parts of the road and 
it's melted quite a lot since last night and I, I suddenly thought oh, there's this car park here for this cold cut we could just stop at this car park being more sensible and that's last night's park up oh the sun's come out now oh look at that t-shirt weather hardly I tell you what you know, at Northern Lights are quite active. I bet it's a good place to come. It could be. Yeah, I don't think there's much... You know, when they're active, you know, people can see them, you know. You don't have to be right up in Scotland sometimes or, you know, and right near north. Well, you can see them, the people have seen them Kings Lynn off the coast. I think that is going to be Pateley Bridge down the bottom there because we've come up the hill, haven't we? And that is Pateley Bridge there. So that's your nearest light pollution. Yeah. And I don't think it would really effect up here too much i think it'd be a good place if the northern lights were coming out i mean sometimes we go to that other place don't we where's that where's that big hill that everybody struggles to get the little car up Summer sutton bank that's it yeah a lot of people go there to look at northern lights well they go yeah up there we, we've been up there didn't see the thing did we went with our friend john or we met up with him up there yeah. Saw sort of nothing. Well, we saw a, a sort of glow in the sky, a bit of a, a sort of orangey glow in the sky. And went, oh, is that them? And John went, nah, that's Middlesbrough. Rest, it says there. Well, that one said. So I'll go back. Oh, hang on. That one says rest. That one says remember. That one says share. That one says wonder. This one says long views and that one says discover. We're clearly not focused. We're recording now. This must have been about the sixth time now that we've pressed rec well we've either you, not pressed record, you. I'm not pressed record, or we've not put the sound on. <sighs> For the microphones and do you know we're just trying to show you a bit of place where we were parked up and i realized the microphones weren't switched on anyway we're leaving cold stone cut quarry now and we're going on to our next place and we hope you enjoyed watching that and you end up they enjoyed watching that, don't you, James? Of course I do. Well, they, won't you, to, they won't be able to hear me because he's not switched my microphone on. Yes, it's on. Right. <laughs> Blooming boomer, next generation. Anyway, right, well, we'll uh, see you in the next one. We're heading to Malham. Malham Cove, Malham Town. Yeah. And Malham Village. Yes. I hope not we're... necessarily in that order. No. Right, well... We had a good night here, quiet night, warm night, diesel to works, 28 degrees in here and uh, a bit of a chat about what we're going to do in the upcoming, in the year, upcoming year, we're already in the upcoming year, a bit of a chat about what we're doing in the year, places where we plan to go to and visit and uh, stealth camp, so on that note, see you later. It's Tara for me and it's Tara for it from him. Mm -hmm.